Bob! Oh, gee, I almost had. What was that explosion? What explosion? What's going on here? Well, what's happening, Foster? Why, the Whispering Shadow just tried to kill me. What? How? With this electric disc. I've seen one of these things before. When? The night the Shadow killed one of his own men at police headquarters. You know who the Whispering Shadow is? Tell us. Who is he? I told you the truth before. None of us has ever seen him. None of us knows who he is. You're headed for the chair, Kruger. Lying won't save you. It's the truth, I tell you. All I know is where we meet to get our orders. Where is it? Come on. Tell us. I'll tell. It. How did this happen? Well, we were quizzing this bird, and all of a sudden he dropped dead. It was no shot from the outside? Not a sound. May I? Uh, certainly, Raymond. Glad to have your opinion. Look. Strange. Thing's still hot. It looks like one of the electrodes that they use in the death house. That's exactly what it is. Your man was electrocuted. Electrocuted? Impossible. Well, where are the wires? The diabolical genius that conceived this had no need of wires. That man was killed by a radio death ray. How did this get here, Foster? I found it in Mr. Jerome's office. What? Jerome's office? Yes, that's why I'm here. I tried to prevent Mr. Jerome from giving the jewels to the Whispering Shadow. Foster is lying, the covering shadow. I would have trapped the shadow if he and the girl hadn't interfered. Well, what girl? Strang's daughter. Strang is the Whispering Shadow. And Foster is working for him. Is this true, Foster? Has Miss Strang been here with you? Well, uh... I can answer that. Foster and Miss Strang were both snooping around Mr. Jerome's office, and I just saw her running away with a package under her arm. So you're in on this, too, eh? Oh, just a minute, Foster. What else did you see, Jarvis? I saw Foster attack Mr. Jerome. If you were close enough to see that, how do we know you didn't take the jewels? And just before the explosion, I saw him throw that death disc at Mr. Jerome. Get the lights, right? That's enough. Well, where are the jewels? I didn't get them. Don't try any tricks on me. I know you've got them. I tell you I didn't. The girl, she was... What makes you think? You can double-cross me. Don't shoot, Steinbeck. I tell you, Mr. Steinbeck, Mr. Steinbeck, you are wanted on the phone. All right, I'll be there. You heard me. Yes, sir. Say, Mr. Jarvis, maybe you can help me solve this puzzle. Why, sure, Sparks. I'm a wizard at that. Here, let me show you. This is the ship when they want to check. I'll see you later, Jarvis. You see, Mr. Jarvis, the idea is to get that first ring over that wire there. See that? Say, I thought... Oh, gee. Well, I must get back to my office. I wouldn't have believed that you... Just a moment, Mr. Bradley. Foster was acting under my order. I told him to watch Jerome. But I don't understand. Why didn't you arrest Jerome? He practically admitted he had the jewels. Because Jerome is not the man I'm after. My job is to catch the shadow. You'll never take him alive if I get to him first, Raymond. Don't forget he killed my brother. Suppose you don't know your father tried to kill me just now. My father tried to kill you? Yes, with a death disc you planted in Jerome's office. Why? My father isn't here. Where is he then? Why, I can't tell you. He was gone when I got back. You're lying to shield him just as he lied to shield you the night I saw you in the warehouse. 
Young man, you're not only insulting, but ridiculous. My daughter has been home the whole evening. It was a waxwork figure of you. You don't understand. My father put it there to protect me from slaves, the escaped convict. to my rescue. And to show his appreciation, your father brought the shadow men in to kill me. Keep your motor running and see that we aren't interrupted. It's Slade. Get him. And after that, you ask me to trust you. Oh, if I could only make you believe that my father is not the Whispering Shadow. You want to know who took the jewels just now? Well, I'll tell you. It was Jarvis. Jarvis? Then that's where your father is. Jarvis. He's here now. Just came in. <clears throat> Guns are dangerous things, my friend. Who are you? What do you want? Who I am does not matter. What I want is a package of jewels.
That's a signal from one of my men. You have just two seconds to decide, my friend. What is Mr. Jarvis's room number? Mr. Jarvis isn't in. Oh, yes, he is. I saw him go in this room. When you get through with this gentleman, I'd like to have some stationery and postal cards. Mr. Jarvis' room number is 321. Thanks. Uh, how, how about my stamps? I was just passing and heard a shot fired in one of your rooms upstairs. A shot? Why, it must be the man that was asking for Mr. Jarvis. I thought he acted strangely. Well, we'd better go up. Drop that gun. I've got you covered. Pick up that gun, miss. Be careful not to destroy his fingerprints. To prove that he killed Jarvis. I didn't kill him. This man's trying to frame me. There's the real murder in that car. Oh, it couldn't be. He tried to run me down. It must be the whispering shadow. He murdered Jarvis to get the jewels. We've got to catch him. Foster and the girl are after you. Don't worry. He'll take care of himself. Phone the police and tell them Foster killed Jarvis. And tell them you have the gun with Foster's fingerprints. Turn onto the south road. The trap is set. 